This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If we're going to be traditional, the music of the holiday song Over the River and Through the Woods to Grandmother's House We Go would be playing in the background. But in respect to the times, this journey was in the Lincoln Aviator to the local farmer's market to get a fresh cut tree and tie it to the roof of the luxury SUV. Officially, the Aviator could be considered a crossover with its unibody construction. But to drivers and passengers, all that matters is the comfort of the driving experience. We drove a black label version, which leaves no doubt about its claim to be a luxury vehicle. First, we must give the brand props for the seat design, which has a near infinite number of settings for that just right adjustment. While Lincoln didn't originate certain features like the door mounted seat adjustment controls, it has found a place in this vehicle for them at just the right spot to reach. The entertainment system in the cabin is perfectly balanced with 28 speakers strategically placed for a concert hall experience. The second row picks up where the first leaves off with ample space along with climate and entertainment system controls that will make a passenger truly feel like a boss. There's a third row which can accommodate adults on a short trip, but when those seats are folded down, there's plenty of space to carry luggage and gifts from a family of four in style. The Aviator also has a lot of the latest technology in terms of driver assistance as standard equipment, which is also easy to understand. The drivetrain is more than adequate with a twin turbo 3 liter V6 under the hood. It delivers a robust 400 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. That's more than enough to provide a nimble response when needed. Matched with a 10 speed automatic transmission, the Aviator glided through shift changes. Over the years, we've been critical of the way Lincoln approached designing and building luxury vehicles. But this Aviator, and what else that's in the future for the brand, tells us that they may have found their way back into the segment. I'm Greg Morrison.